So today we're catching the train. We're going to start our day with a visit to the Eiffel Tower. Riding the subway trains of Paris is certainly the best way to get around the city. It's quite easy to use. You just buy a ticket, put the ticket in the turnstile, and walk on through and get onto the proper train platform. Of course, you can take taxis, but you'll find the subway is actually quicker than most taxis or surface transportation because the streets are rather congested. So you'll get around town quite a bit using the Parisian Metro. You just follow the signs and they'll lead you in the right direction. All the discussion of a train for Honolulu, but Paris is a giant city with a population of about 10 million, so they have to have a subway system to help the people get around. Get to the Eiffel Tower in the morning just as it's opening, which is generally about 9 o'clock in the morning. And that way you can avoid the lines and get right up the elevators and up to the top. You want to go up to the third level, which is the highest level for the most commanding view out over the city. Mr. Eiffel had a small private apartment at the top of the Eiffel Tower, which has a model of him entertaining Charles Edison. Let's come down to the second level and walk around and look at the view, take a picture. The history of the Eiffel Tower is a remarkable story for it. There was a temporary tower that was supposed to be ripped down after the 1889 Universal Exposition. It was a world's fair. And then you ride the elevator back down again. The total visit only takes about one hour if you come first thing in the morning when there's no crowd. If you come later in the day, in the summer on a busy day, instead of one hour, it could take you three hours for the total visit. So it really pays to be here early in the day. Next goal is the Palace of Versailles. You're now in perfect position to get out to the Palace of Versailles by train. So enter the metro station and take the RER, that's the suburban train line, to the end at Versailles Rive Gauche. It takes about 40 minutes to get out there and the round trip is very reasonably priced, under $10. Nothing could be easier than this train ride followed by a 15 minute walk to get from the station in Versailles to the palace. And it's really a great way to see the palace. It's quick and simple. Well, here we are at the Fountains of Versailles. It's only one day a week on Sundays you get this beautiful effect. And it is so gorgeous, it's worth the extra money to come in here and look at it. So if you can possibly arrange your visit to Versailles to be on a Sunday, and it's worth paying the extra few dollars to go out into the garden, you'll really, really have a great time. Of course, the palace was built for Louis XIV. Previously, it was a smaller hunting cottage that his father lived in on weekend hunts. Each room is a spectacle, but the most amazing room of all is the Hall of Mirrors, one of the greatest rooms on the planet. There's a bust of Louis XIV by Bernini. Don't forget to look up at the ceilings. They're one of the most beautiful parts of the palace. Then we continue on into the Queen's Chambers. This was the formal bedroom. It's a little more elaborate than the hotel that we've been staying at in Paris, but the City Deans has been a wonderful home base for three days. Very comfortable spot in the center of Paris in the Léal district. But now it's time to go. So we're loading into taxis. It's a short drive from the hotel over to the train station. So we pile in three people, four people in a taxi with suitcases and drive about 15 minutes to the station where we're going to catch our train from Paris to London. Just roll the bags from the front of the station right inside and there's a convenient elevator. Brings us up one level or you could go up by escalator for the Eurostar departure. Right they leave every hour and now the trip is only about just over two hours. Two hours and 20 minutes. It's really a rapid journey from downtown Paris right into the heart of downtown London on this sleek Eurostar train. So we're moving on down the ramp onto the platform, find our car, we've got reserved seating, and bring these suitcases in the car with us, put them on the racks, put 
some bags on the overhead racks as well and enjoy the ride. It's really quite nice scenery uh, along the way from Paris. You drive through the north of France and then through the tunnel, the channel, coming up out of the tunnel in England and arriving soon in downtown London.